Thracians bend the knee. The Trebali and others send great delegations to our glorious capital. Even Getians and Greeks can't deny our power and wish to win our favour. But there is one people who refuse to show respect to the great throne in Adrissia, the barbarians in the north. The ones who sacked Suthopolis and the ones who've raided our lands for years. The foul Celts, savages, hell-bent on destroying all that is good. I will show them when our borders are secure, when our armies are fresh. I will show them the meaning of true strength and take revenge for all they have done to us. And we are back with Adrissia, guys. Last time we took out Pontic Pentapolis, which was um, very, very satisfying, I've got to say, because they have been a thorn in our side. We now have a load of sort of middling-sized large towns up here, all with ports, which is fantastic. That really does help our income out, as you can see. 17,000 now, very nice. And at the end of this episode, guys, I'm going to go through a little stat check. We'll have a look at uh, sort of our stats and all that sort of thing at the end of the episode so stay tuned for that make sure you do like and subscribe as well it does really help the channel out but for now let's end the turn here guys we are going to just basically sort of see where we want to go next i don't know maybe into uh Histria in the north because they've only got three at the moment but if we come and have a look they might have four, five, six, and it'll be a bit more difficult. So let's just see what we want to do after this turn. And the Mediel back, guys. <laughs> so I guess that kind of decides it for us, really, does it? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't want to have to deal with them. Well, of course, this was the reason we uh, built that fort there. Basically to just stop them doing stupid stuff like sieging down Bessapara. And honestly, if we are going to take them on, we'll take them on with this new army. So I'm willing like, to have a bit more patience and wait a little bit longer as well. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll just have some, some extra patience. We'll get a load of long spearmen in this army. If we can get some extra cavalry, though, that would be very, very helpful. I don't think we can get cavalry anywhere else. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's have a look in the north. Um Tribali and the Gete have broken their alliance. Not necessarily good for us, that actually. But that's okay. Uh, where else? Yeah, we've got our three spies, so I do need to go and check on that. we got a spy here. This one can go north. And yeah, looks like the history Histrians have quite a significant amount of settlements and a lot of troops in every single city, which I don't really want to be taking these siege battles to be honest but yeah that's as far north as they go and honestly once we've taken that our northern border will be protected and we can kind of get into maybe Tylus, maybe the Gete as well but I think that is going to be the option where is that other spy then got one here let's come out this way uh, so we can see sort of what's going on with Tylus and the Gete that's the Gete up there so Tylus is more sort of south of the river here where's that other spy there we go we'll pop you there so we can kind of see what's going on well i think then the option guys is to continue with this army hmm. and just go after history like there's no point not right there's no point not you guys can go in there as garrison troops do we have any more garrison troops so that is the question we don't really have many garrison troops so it might be worth... Are we building a... Yeah, we're building that there. But yeah, we can garrison with two of the archers at the moment. But that's it. I want to see what they have inside the settlement. Like, what do they have? We're going to attack them. That might break our alliance with someone else. Did that break our alliance? Yeah, with the Gete. Oh, no, that's not as good. Normally, the Gete get quite large and sort of spread this way. So that's why I don't want to have to fight them, guys, because we might have to come all the way over here, basically, to uh, wipe them out, which will be a bit of a nightmare because that's so far away from getting retraining in Adrissa. <laughs> and with the way the recruitment works at the minute, that's where we have to go and retrain. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, over here, like I say, I'm not bothered about the Maidy. How many turns? It's th only three turns. They might even just wait all that time. If they do that, that's perfect for us 
Um, is there anything else we want to do then apart from building? I don't think so. So let's make sure we are building and make sure we're definitely building in Adrissa. We now got um, like good roads here. And let's go for the military experience bonus. Fantastic. Um, over here in Ankylos, let us get the tavern. The taverns are always good. We love the taverns, don't we, guys? <laughs> they are fantastic. Um, Perinthos down here. Anything of interest. I mean, Kalatis as well. We don't actually... I think I deleted the military buildings there, didn't I? Well, in Thomas, we'll definitely get that one next. So I'm just going to pop that in now so I don't forget to build it. And that is everything, I believe. What do we got? The Belton. Let's go for Dionysus. Fantastic, guys. Well, let's. we're nearly building everywhere as well, which is absolutely awesome. So, uh, yeah, let's keep on going. Let's end the turn there, guys. And every turn, like all of last episode as well, the Thracians have been trying to bribe that settlement and also trying to spy on Adrissa. So, <laughs> I don't know why they've not pulled the trigger yet in attacking us, but... <laughs> yeah, like, I think they do have a spy. Oh, no, we, we've got a spy here. Okay. That's cool. We'll come and have a look down here and see what's going on. The Seleucids still have that army with elephants in, which uh, does scare me. And it's a bit annoying that they're not at war with the Ptolemies so that they get rid of that army. I think they're at war with the Antigonids, though. That's that's the main thing. What do, we, what do these guys have in here? Oh, that is a horrible, horrible siege battle to take. But it looks like we are going to have to take it. And I'm assuming they're going to be like that. All of the sieges. I would like them to, you know, come and attack us or maybe put their armies together so that we don't have to do these horrible sieges constantly. But that's fine. Let's go for the siege battle then, guys. The battle for Istria, which is their capital. So it's going to be fun. Let's go. Well, here we go. We are ready to come and fight, my friends. So let us get our troops in. We'll see if we can get four of them across here. There we go. And then the rest of these boys, we're going to bring them in here. See if we can go and deal with the Greek hoplites over there. I don't think it's going to be too bad, but I do think we are going to lose a few men in these sort of fights. Well, here come the Greek hoplites. We're also going to send these boys up this way. Send you as well. And then these guys. Oh, we can actually surround them. So go, go, go. Go, men, go. We need to surround them. That'll be amazing for us. That'll be amazing. Oh, we've also got these guys firing. That's probably doing a bit of friendly fire. So maybe we should stop that for now. Right, now we can surround these boys completely. Um, that's awesome. And it looks like they might be coming off the, uh, the main area here. Well, now we've got these boys in to this area. We should be able to surround them, get rid of them. We're throwing a few javelins over the tops. And there we go. We'll now be able to surround them and hopefully destroy them. They're coming down with these boys too, the Thuriophore, of course, who are going to be able to fire missiles into us themselves. But yeah, I love uh, siege battles like this where they're a little bit more interesting than just like the standard two units where you can actually use some tactics rather than just trying to mash them on the town square. So there we go. Let's see if we can kill all of these Thuriophore. Let's make sure we actually target them so they don't get out. There we go. They're fighting to the death now. Oh, you guys, no, you guys continue fighting the Greek hoplites. There we go. And now we've got the Thurio Foroi there. Fantastic. Let's go. This is looking very nice indeed. Well, there we go. There goes the Greek hoplites. Nicely broken. Nicely broken, my friends. Shaken and stirred. Fantastic. Let's go. Well, there goes their general. That is the Greek hoplites absolutely getting broken. Let's uh, bring these guys out to fight the Greek hoplites as well. Fantastic. We are having a wonderful time in this battle. We, of course, are going to lose a few men, but not too many. Not too many, hopefully. Well, there we go. Both of their final units did break while there wasn't anyone on the town square. So that allows us to end the battle. And we got 74 men, and it's only 50 with the healing for that whole battle, taking out four infantry units. I think that is a fantastic result. Absolutely glorious, my friends. Let's go. And once again, let us enslave at Istria. Fantastic. I think similar to before, we'll keep... The military buildings here because I think we're just going to go straight for that because we need an ability to recruit garrison troops up here, especially if we are going to go to war with Tylus over this way, who are kind of stuck at the moment between the Gete, 
the Trabali and us. So I wouldn't be surprised if they do attack us very soon. Let's keep on moving, though. Moving. Moving things along. And, yeah, do we have two units there? We've got two here. Is it going to be enough? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Good, good, good. We can now garrison that. And that is 70%. Fantastic. Let's go for Origami. And this one, we might just auto-resolve, honestly, guys. Like I say, some of these smaller sieges, I think we can auto-resolve. Honestly, I would much prefer these guys to put their armies together and do something rather than just messing around doing nothing. This is all... Um, Oh, so where are the Gete then? Are the Gete just like down to nothing? Is that all the Gete has? That is just the Gete just has... So that is Rebel. The Gete just has two. Oh my god, thank you Gete. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you Tylus as well. That makes things so much easier. Yes, 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 yes. That is amazing. That is what we want to see. That is what we want to see. Right then. Let's keep on building. We're going to go from the bottom this time. Um, and honestly, yeah, roads might be quite useful along all of these areas so we can move up through it a lot quicker. Byzantium, let's go for the paved roads because, yeah, that's going to be helpful as well. Ooh, farms. We didn't even build farms in there. And then next time we'll go from the top again as well. Good, 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 good. Now, how far away is Adrissa from growing? Still 4,500 out of 7,000. Suthopolis the same. Yeah, it would be nice to get some cities rather soon, wouldn't it, guys? So we really need to, like, enslave somewhere that's massive. And uh, I don't know where that would be. I mean, these places, yeah, they're not huge, are they? They're not small either, but they're not huge. So, yeah, and this, like, this 1,200 is only a town. So, yeah, these areas too, these two or three areas here will allow us to get horse archers, guys, which if you've seen the Pontic Pentapolis campaign, rather powerful. Let's go. And the Gete want to become our protectorate. Um, yeah, we'll, we will 100% oh, accept that. Fantastic. Very nice. We've got two protectorates now, the Tribali and the Gete. Awesome. And the Achaean League want an alliance and trade rights. Um, at the moment... I'm not going to accept that because they are at war with the Antigonids. It basically just means that we've got less chance of the Antigonids declaring war on us. Not, it's not a huge difference, but I think it makes a tiny difference. And that might be the thing that pushes them over the edge, but I'm not sure. And the Maidy decided to siege down Besapara and leave the fort. What do they have? Let's, uh, let's just check what they have because it doesn't look like they've got much. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That, yeah. That's not the one for you, my friends. That's not the one for you, honestly. Um, let's just auto-resolve. 180. That's not too bad, honestly. Let's uh, just do that. And pop straight out. 40% straight away. What is that? Temple of Zeus? No, we don't want that. We want a uh, Temple of Dionysus up this way. Um, I think Orgame is Greek. It is. It is Greek. So we don't want to build that. Let's delete these buildings then get some extra cash from them and we're going to do something slightly risky guys slightly risky but it will hopefully work first of all though let's garrison with the aor thracian archer there and yeah we're going to split up so we're going to take sort of you boys and you and you and we're going to seize down gen cooler only get one ram with that, and we're going to seize down Aegisos as well. So that is going to speed up our war with these boys. They're still not moved. I don't know what the AI is doing, but it's just stuck there. <laughs> uh, they're not doing anything. They're just stuck there doing nothing. So, yeah. Interesting, but that's fine. If they just let us take all of their land, that is absolutely fine for us. Let's retrain these boys. Let's also... I think we now want to get some Hippocontistae. Let's keep on going with that recruitment there. Let's keep on going with more Thracian archers here. And let's get some Hippocontistae across here as well. We are gathering a good, nice army up this way, aren't we? Um, I wonder what we get. So second tier stables for light lancers. Fourth tier stables for the noble cavalry. So that is like a large city, which is absolutely miles away before we get any good cavalry. Hmm. Hmm. Not ideal. 
Let's have a look at Kabile. Do we want to go for level 4? Like, if we get level 4 at Kabile, I think that's a good idea. Let's do that. And then over here, this is going to be one of our recruitment hubs. So let's go for Hebelsis there. Good. Good, 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 good. Anything else we want to do? I mean, I'm not bothered about this. I think we can beat it just with our general. Is there any mercenaries available? There is loads of mercenaries. Ooh, so next time we'll get a, um, a horse archer here. Just a single horse archer. And we'll attack that. And that should be enough to kill them. So let's end the turn here, guys. Okay, Histria. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'll accept that. Good, good play there, my friends. And finally, we get another candidate for adoption. He is a bit rubbish. <laughs> Dual uncharismatic as well. So, yeah, but we do just need more of these boys. So, like, Diopolis would be a great one to have a guy in. We also need a new general at some point. So, yeah, we, we need to find a good general or get one from an event. So, yeah, that would be good. Coralopolis can now build um, actual good troops. Run Fire for right? Fantastic. Uh, so let's go over here, though. And they did siege down the fort again with this army. But, yeah, I think we can deal with that, no problem. Let's go for the, the horse archers. We'll also go for the noble cavalry here. And that should be plenty to deal with those boys. So we'll do that battle first. Let's do a, a field battle, guys, first and attack them. And we should be able to get rid of them really easily. Let's go. And it is a bridge battle with, unfortunately, no other ways to get across the river. I don't believe. I mean, I think the horse archers can swim. But, yeah, this is going to be interesting. We're going to have to, like, force our way across if they're not there. Are they... I don't think they're there. Okay. They're over there. So, yeah. <laughs> Stupid from them. Good for us, though. And looks like they're bringing their Thracian archers forward. So let's do that. Let's also bring these guys up to the left to try and fire at the Light Lancers. But honestly, we can just do this with our melee cav and we'll be fine. The Thracian Noble Cavalry at this point, guys, is one of the best cavalry in the whole game. Like, I I'm talking on a par with... Um, with cataphracts so yeah let's go and tell them to attack them there we go i don't know what they were thinking but uh whatever it was it was stupid <laughs> and now we're just going to get straight into the light lancers over here their uh, their other unit has disappeared so i don't know what they're doing with it but here we go nice little charge look at that their light lancers are going to get absolutely ruined here <laughs> there we go <laughs> nice let's turn these guys off fire at will now so they stop shooting into themselves which they've been doing quite a bit. I'm going to tell you these guys to go and attack the Thracian Slingers. The Light Lancers have actually held on a lot longer than I expected here. Well done, Light Lancers. Doing a decent job, Maybe Light Lancers. Fair play. Honestly, this army of like these three sort of cavalry units could probably do a lot of damage to that other large army. So that's why I'm not worried about it. But there we go. Fantastic. Well, there we go, guys. We actually lost 10 men and killed 218. That's a pretty glorious result, isn't it? Let's go. Let's just pop back into Philippopolis for now. I wonder how old this guy is. This guy's 38. He's got 10 influence, though. That's actually insane. Nice. Fantastic. Very, very cool indeed. Right, let's get up into the north and let's just see whichever one of these is going to be easier. We've got Istrian archers, Getic light infantry, and skirmisher cavalry. Well, I think... This one will actually be easier, Jenkula. And then we'll do Igisos. Although, which one would do better in a auto-resolve? Hmm. I think we'll do this one, and then we'll auto-resolve that second one. So, uh, let's go. And I forgot this would not be a Greek-style settlement. So, it's actually going to be even easier than I expected. So, yeah, that's fantastic. And I think we'll fight both of them just to retain the quality of our troops. There we go. We've got rid of the uh, Getic Light Infantry from the gate, but they are going to keep passing by it, I think. So once they've gone back a little bit further, we'll get these boys in. And uh, yeah, then we need to just get rid of the Hoplites, which should be rather easy on a map like this. Well, here we go. Here come the Getic Light Infantry. Oh my god, they, they literally broke straight away. I wasn't expecting them to break that easily, honestly. <laughs> uh, right then, let's, uh, let's see if we can get up this way 
as well and then use the archers to bring them off the town square. Well, the archers aren't actually pulling them off right now. So let's see if we can get these guys forward and see if the general can maybe drag those boys off. There we go. Now let's come backwards and see what happens. I'm hoping they'll come all the way off and then we can do this. You guys also get your guy yourselves on fire. Well, no, looks like they're going to... Um... Okay, wh whatever. We... Okay, we are dragging them off, so uh, let's uh, let's actually go for the charge on them and see if whether we can just break them with this singular charge. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Not even with Roigos. So let's just come off for a second. Well, here we go. They've actually decided to charge into us. Fantastic. Let's see what we can do about this other unit as well, because we want to drag that one off. There we go. And now let's see if we can charge and break them. That'll be amazing. There we go. Let's see if we can get past them and block them from coming round. You guys attack as well. Glorious. There we go. And all we need to do now is break them, which should be rather easy with all these charges and everything. Now you guys get in the back and stop them from escaping to the town square. Ah, fantastic. We've now uh, absolutely surrounded them. Should be rather easy now. Look at that. Just getting crushed absolutely crushed and now they are fighting to the death so now we just open the gate so that they can escape and then we should have won the battle fantastic good another nice little victory we actually lost quite a lot more than just 40 to friendly fire there oh no 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 it was just 40 like 45 fine good fantastic let's go guys and once again let us enslave at Aegisos. Let's get rid of the Temple of Athena and go for the Temple of Dionysus. And again, unfortunately, we are going to have to leave behind the Thracian archers. They're just the least valuable unit to us at the moment. Let's go for this. Let's see what it would say for that. Let's just try. 72. That's absolutely perfect. Let us enslave here as well. Gen Kula. What do they have in this area? They've got that. They've got stables. Good. We want the stables. We want the stables. Let's just have a quick look at this. Okay, that's just that. Level 3 does get Dacian Horse Arch. So I'm wondering about level 2. Like, what about here? Yeah, we need to get to level 2 to start getting the Horse Archers. So we will go for that straight away in this settlement in Gen Cooler rather than the other one. And now we actually have no one to garrison. So, that's a little bit frustrating. Hmm. Did anywhere manage to build? You've got two turns left. You've got two turns left as well. Ah, is there any, like, cheaper mercenaries? No, cheaper mercenaries? There is no mercenaries. Hmm. Well, I think we just leave behind, like, 31 Hippocontistae, but... I Ideally, I want these Hippocontistae because they are very, very good troops. Like, they've got two silver experience now. So let's go to Arubion, which, as you can see, must be a very damaged load of troops there. And that is the last settlement for history. They haven't built the rams there, so we should be able to get around that too. Fantastic. Well, is there anything else we want to do this turn? Have they built rams? No, they haven't. Glorious. We're still recruiting over here, aren't we? Absolutely awesome. Let's keep going. Why do we want archers? We want their Hippocontistae, don't we? Uh, yes. Good, 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 good. We are in a very good position, guys. Let's end the turn. And now Pionia wants to become our protector. I mean, everyone oh, does. Thanks. We must be so powerful. <laughs> like, what is going on? <laughs> Ooh, and we got a new candidate for adoption. Where is he? Because he looks like a fantastic guy. Like... 23 already um, units in there. Good tactician. Apprentice trader. Cool. Well supplied adult Uologe Seas. That's going to be hard for me to say. But apart from that, that is fantastic. So I think, honestly, we'll just grab the troops now. Um, get as many as we can. We've got you boys as well. There we go. So this is a nice a little army too. And they can come along. They can join up with these two mercs, plus these boys, who can actually get all the way into the, the unit now. Fantastic. That is a nice little army. A nice little army, nice enough to take out these boys. Pionia is not small. So I am surprised they wanted to become our protectorates, because, yeah, they're, they're really not small. But does that mean the Trevalia no longer? Yes. 
Ah, okay. I probably should have gone a li little bit more into that then. The Thracians, of course, they keep doing that. Let's have a look. So we broke our alliance with the Denthalate because of Pionia. And the Trevali just dropped off then. I don't know why, but that's okay. It's it's not an issue. We got level two recruitment in Philippopolis. Let's go straight for level three. I know it costs a bit of money, but we might as well do it early, guys. We might as well do it early. Rioting in Gen Cooler. That's okay. We'll be able to maybe swap these boys around. Let's go for that. How many more turns until that's that's done one more turn fantastic so we need to go for that siege first cool i'm so glad we've got another army out we're still making a decent amount of cash but first of all let's go for a rubion which oh yeah look at that so damaged so damaged this should be nice and fun let's go and i decided to make it a rainy day for the final stand of the Histrians. We have taken out lots of factions so far in this campaign, guys. Unified much of Thrace, and now we have protectorates aplenty wanting to be our friends. So, uh, yeah, we, we are having a great time, aren't we? The Adrissian Kingdom is on the march, my friends. On the march. And I think we just get in there. Like, let's just go, guys. Let's just go. There's nothing to worry about. Look at this army. It's absolute trash. It's absolute trash. Like, what do they have? Getting light infantry? Like, who cares about that? So, uh, let's just go. Let's just use horde tactics like we've done a few times. We'll get our cavalry in, in a second. But, yeah, this is just glorious. This is absolutely glorious. Already routing. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's get into these boys up here. Like like I say, they've got, got much. Like, Getic light infantry is about the best they've got on offer up here. So... <laughs> Yeah, this is a sad end for them, isn't it? The history, the Histrians. They didn't see this one coming, though, did they? <laughs> Let's be honest. Well, here comes their general. His final charge, my friends. His final charge into our ranks. Let's keep on coming forward. We're also going to put these guys on fire at will in a second. Oh, they actually are already. Good, 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 good. The main thing is just getting rid of this Getic Light Infantry, to be fair. With those, these boys, let's go for the Greek Slingers. You guys want you to just attack them. And yeah, this is this is it. This is just a sad end for the Histrians, isn't it? But uh, I mean, a lot of the factions we've killed have uh, had very sad ends, haven't they? To be honest. So uh, let's carry on. And I think we just charge onto the town square. Give them a little bit of respect. Not much, but a little bit. Um, so yeah, let's just, let's just go. They've not got much left over there. And I think we will probably send this army back for retraining after this after this but uh yeah let's just get the cavalry away i don't want to lose a general needlessly and there we go everyone can charge onto the town square can't they i mean they've got a, a decent number of troops left it's just trash troops though it's just absolute trash so uh fantastic another faction bites the dust my friend another faction bites the dust and there we go the last moments of history are absolutely destroyed we lost 100 men so not too bad and a glorious victory once again Roygos certainly is Roygos the praised and once again let's enslave fantastic there we go shrine to zeus let's delete that and it doesn't look like history is dead. So where is their other settlement? Is it up here with um, Olbia? Hmm. Interesting. Let's try and find a spy so we can go and find out. Like, oh, are, they, are the Gete still our protectorate? Let's have a look. Yes, they are. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Because obviously we lost the Tribali. So I swear I've got three spies up here and I don't know where each one of them is. You're there. You're there. You're there, which is good. You're there. So how close are you two? You two are pretty much in the same place. So let's come up this way and see whether we can see any history and settlements. We can't. So I'm assuming they sailed down the coast, did they? Or do they start separated? We might actually lose Istria then because they do actually have rams. So we might have to leave quickly. Let's go with that. There we go. And we're going to have to go and attack these guys and take them out. So, oh, it's all missile troops again. Ugh. I hate these battles where it's all missile troops. But I think we can do it just with our cavalry. Let's go. 
Well, here we go. Another rainy day marks the end of Istria. And yes, let's go. I mean, I actually have a lot of troops. I did not realize they'd have this many. Um, so we're going to just take it a bit more cautiously than initially I was going to. Well, here we go. We're now in range with our boys. So let us use our cavalry on... Actually, we'll use them on the left flank because our left flank is slightly weaker. Come on, guys. Start firing away. Get your javelins off. There we go. And they do have good experience, so they should be felling these guys pretty darn easily. Um, bringing all of these guys around, which all do have sort of javelins. Good. What do we got here? Prodromoid. Their general's coming in now. So, yeah. Um, I think... Honestly, just keep on moving forward if we can. Keep on going forward. Are they withdrawing? No, they can't withdraw, can they? Because they already retreated. So we need to chase them down if we can. Looks like the Progemoy are going to be able to get away. But maybe this unit won't be able to. There we go. We've got them. We've got them. We've got them, guys. We've got them. Nice. And uh, yeah, let's keep on uh, moving up if we can. There we go. Well, here we go. Here comes the Greek general's bodyguard. He got disrupted in his charge, though. So that was a terrible, terrible charge for him. Um, so yeah, we, we're just trying to get rid of the rest of the cavalry and then we can chase down some of the other units Hopefully we can kill the general, but uh, yeah, there's their progeny. Let's stereo for a cavalry. Can we catch them? No, we can't unfortunately There we go. And now let's get back into the fight and let's go charge the thurio for a cavalry Let's get all of these guys to attack the general's bodyguards should be able to break these thurio for a cavalry We can play on faster speed now. I think there we go. Glorious. Nice and easy. Well, there we go. I don't think we destroyed the army because I don't think we killed the general. But uh, we got rid of these troops anyway. Well, guys, what I think we're going to do, because I do want to retrain those cavalry units. I'm going to stay up here one more turn. I'm going to combine these guys. Get you in there. Swap you out. Then we're going to do the same thing again. So you guys can go into there and swap out with these boys Next turn, we might as well just come across like that. And yeah, interesting to see where Histria actually actually is still. I'm assuming they have a province up there, but I don't think we need to worry about that if that's the case. Um, you guys, we all we are protectorates with the Gete, so we actually don't need um, a spy up there. Um, and now we can see all of Tylus. So I think the plan-wise is to come all the way back down to Adrissa, retrain our men, and then we'll start going north into Tylus, starting with uh, the leftmost. No, we'll start with... Hmm, we could just start with their uh, their capital. But I think we start with the right hand most, so it's closer to these territories. So there's less chance they're going to start taking over some of these. Or maybe we just start with Tylus. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll find out in a second. But first of all, we have plenty of money to keep on building. And we can actually get the gold mining complex in Adrissa now. Do we want that or do we want the morale bonus and experience? I think we want the morale and experience, honestly. Um, Corolopolis is now a decent recruitment hub. So, same thing. Let's go for the stables. Suthopolis over here. Again, another decent recruitment hub. Let's go for the city barracks. And we basically spent all our money now um, on recruitment building. So, let's go down to the bottom. Make sure we are building something in Arubion, which will be the Shrine of Dionysus. And good. Let's uh, let's end the turn, guys. And the Aetolian League want an alliance. I think similar thing to what we did previously. Because they're enemies with um, the Antigonids, we just don't do that yet. Well, another end turn has been and gone, my friends. So... Let's swap you into there, you in there. And then basically when we come back up here with this army, we will um, we'll pick those guys back up because I believe this guy now has... Oh, did we, did we not get a recruitment hub somewhere? Was it here? It was here. So we need at least two of those boys. And we'll start recruiting a few more Akontistai, basically just to be garrison troops. I don't want like like actual greek troops <laughs> so uh yeah oh, there we are we have Histria up here at istrianum limen and the greeks have taken out olbia it would seem so yeah i mean I, I i'm not bothered about this land i although if we leave them they could become powerful hmm decisions decisions my friends decisions decisions well we don't have the troops to go and sort them out yet so we'll uh we'll wait on that one um right then let us continue our march down south. We can actually get all the way to that. 
We'll go and attack them in a second. How many turns was the fort away from dying, by the way? Last, last turn, so we did manage to get to it just in time. Let's carry on with our recruitment down here. What does this army need? I mean, it's got decent cavalry. Probably one more or two more units of cavalry, I would say. So one there. We're getting more Romfire Foray there. Let's get more cavalry here. And more cavalry there. I mean, it's full of garrison troops if we want to garrison. We've got loads of long spearmen, so we don't need too many more garrison troops. I think the plan with this army will be to take out the Maidy, take out the Dentalate, so that we border our protectorate, which is Pionia now. Um, and they've built paved roads up here. Fair play, Dentalate. <laughs> Probably because they don't have anything really to spend their money on. I don't like the Thracians being here as well. It might be time to start taking them out. But then we border the Seleucids even more. And they still have this army. Which, even with a full stack, I don't think we beat this, guys. Because of the uh, Chalka Speeders. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Right. Let's uh, keep on building with a few of these areas. Let's go for the sewers in Aegisos. In Orgame, we don't need anything. There's literally nothing to build there because it's just a town. Thomas, do we want to keep on going with that? I mean, let's have a look at level three. No, it's just standard Greek roster. And now that we've sort of secured this northern border here, I don't see any reason to go any further north. Like, I feel like this is going to be our northern border for the rest of the game because what I really want to do is get into Greece. Like, that is the plan is to, you know, get into Greece, take over Greece. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, sorry, we were going from the bottom, weren't we? Uh, Kalatis. Was there anything else to build in, Thomas? Oh, there was. Let's go for the sewers then. And then in Kalatis, we'll go for the tavern. Dionysi, uh, Di I, I can't say that word. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else interesting here, guys. Oh, we've got a market. Good. Right, let's end the turn, guys. Ah, oh, no, I, for I completely forgot about the Maidy. What am I doing? No! Well, the Gete want to nullify their protectorate status, but if we give them a protectorate ultimatum, a most they'll uh, remain. <laughs> Ooh, and Tylus attacked us without us having to do anything. Okay, interesting. I thought that was coming for a while, but it has finally arrived, my friends. So this time we're not going to forget to do that. <laughs> We're going to test ourselves against some Celtic troops. I think against the Maidy here, though, we are just going to uh, siege this down. Because if they don't do anything, we've just killed off, like, basically the whole of the Maidy army without having to lift a finger. So, yeah, that's going to be pretty darn good. Um, nothing of interest in there. And we got more Romfire Foroy there. Fantastic. Let's keep on going. With that, we're getting more troops over in these areas. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. How are we doing in Philippopolis? Yeah, six more turns until we can start getting the amazing DI swordsman. Um, Istria now got this, so let's keep on going with more Akontistai. We can never have enough garrison troops, guys, especially if you're moving fast through um, sort of regions. Let's go for the Shrine to Dionysus. Although, let's check the Corruption. There's a decent amount of corruption up here, so maybe you want to go for the Shrine to Hero. Yeah, let's go for that. A Rubion. Let's go for the communal farming. Nice and cheap. Dionysiopolis. Let's go for the Tavern. And then we'll go from the top again. So Mado Tenopolis. Hmm. I mean, honestly, the roads are just going to be the best in here. I do kind of want to upgrade all our roads going up through... Bizia, for example. So, like, because 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 these roads, we're going to use these a lot. We're going to use these roads a lot. So, like, De Belton, Bizia. So, I think we'll go for roads there. That is fantastic. Let's uh, attack Captain Dieteros over here. He's got Celtic Swordsmen, Light Cavalry, Celtic Spearmen, Slingers. Yeah, I think we've got plenty enough to deal with them. Let's go. Well, our troops are a little damaged, but there's so many of them that it'll be fine. Well, they are confident. They were coming forward towards us, but uh, yeah, I think they've got a bit of confidence, haven't they? Well, here we go. Straight into the action, my friends. Straight into the action. 
There we go. Let's go. What what are they? Celtic Spearmen. They actually have um have a uh, uh, javelins. I didn't realize that. Let's uh, come bring our guys across this way. I think cavalry is going to be all important here. So, there we go. We've got our javelins off. We're losing actually a lot of men to their javelins. So, yeah. Let's see if we can uh, sort of engage these boys. And looks like the Celtic Swordsmen are going to go after our cavalry, which is goddamn dumb. Like, stupid. But uh, they, it's so weird. Like, the AI always loves to do that. But there we go. Let's bring these guys around too to deal with the Celtic Swordsmen. We've chased them off, so fine. Let's come up this way, get there, guys. And let's see what we can do about these boys here. Look at the amount of javelins just coming into us. That's the main issue here. Might actually lose this. There we go. They've got that unit. Let's go after the Celtic Light Cavalry then. They managed to charge in. Come on, General. You're so slow. Look at them. Look how slow they are. You're on horses, man. You're on fucking horses. Well, let's get rid of the Getic Light Infantry then. That's their General dead. Now let's get rid of the Celtic Spearmen. Let's go kill them. Fantastic. Oh, they all broke. They all broke. I, I was expecting that to be harder than it was. <laughs> well, there we go. Nice and easy. Fantastic. And honestly, guys, while we're here, we might as well just pop across and take Tylus. Ooh, what's this? Galato Thracian Warband. Oh, cool. So they got Celtic and Thracian troops together. Uh, nice. Well, let's end the turn there, guys. I think we're still in a very nice position. And Tylus decided to attack up here. With horse archers too. Hmm. Well, that's okay. Uh, we don't. I don't mind losing that territory, even though we did invest a little bit of money into it. Let's enslave Tylus over this way. Oh, they've got um, cesspits here. They've got a sacred grove of Aveta. Nope, you don't anymore. I'm sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> do we have anyone that we can garrison here, though? That's the question. Did we get... We do have that at Archer. So, yeah, let's keep on moving south. Let's put this Archer up there. There we go. And are they happy? 70%. That's plenty happy enough for me. Let's go there and let's make sure we do build, say, Dionysus. Let's also make sure we do have enough money for this because it's going to cost us a lot. Hmm. Let's go that. There we go. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. We managed to uh, use all of our money there. Good, 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 good. Tylus sieging us down here. I believe we did get... Did we not get... Oh, we've got an Akontistai coming next turn so that we can swap out these Rumfire 4, right? I think we're just going to have to lose Thomas, unfortunately, and have to come back and take it. So that is fine. Not a problem. Do have a few other... Tylus reclaimed against Roigos the Praise. The great general has captured Tylus. In the north of Thrace, there was a bastion of Celtic power. From Tylus came raiding parties, demands for tribute and submission. But that is no more, as a Thracian now sits atop its throne at its new stronghold of Thracian power. Very nice. Very, 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 very nice indeed. Uh, nothing of interest there, I don't believe. And again, we got a load more troops. So let's uh, gather those guys up. Uh, we've got you. Go to Adrissa. You go there as well. Um, you can go there too. So now this army is looking a little bit more powerful. A lot of light cavalry. Honestly, probably want to swap out a bit of the light cavalry in there too. Do we have enough to recruit again? We do. So let's get one more of these boys. Oh, we've got one coming. Uh, let's uh, do this then. There we go. And then we can actually recruit a unit here too. Fantastic. Good, 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 good. One more turn, guys. Let's do that. There we go. And we got another general. Fantastic. Let's go for that. Baring Chaos. Honestly... I'd like to send him north to, like, Kalatis or something like that. So, oh, although Mesembria doesn't even have a person. So, yeah, we'll get that. And then we'll pop you out. We don't need you. Oh, I did have those two garrison troops, didn't I? Did I put them in here? Yes, I did, because they have the Thracian um, Peltas there. So, yes, we definitely took them out. Good. Desos is now an attuned governor. 
And there we got our guys retrained. Right then, let's move on. What I'm going to do, we're going to pop out. I'm going to leave behind two of these boys. Because they are going to join up with that army. I'm going to come past here. You're going to join in with them too. And we are going to go as far north as we can. Because we want to deal with this threat here. I don't... I'm assuming they are going to siege us down next turn. So, yeah, that's that's fine. Um, Coralopolis, do we want to keep on recruiting? I think we'll hold off on recruiting for a second, boys, before we do too much else. Hmm, I would like that mining complex, so I think we'll save for that as well. And, yeah, I think we're still good. We're sti we still are very good. So, over here, though, I will spend a little bit of money on... That, I think we need level 2 recruitment, do we, for the horse archers? We do. So, actually, yeah, we will spend some money. Um, yeah, we'll spend that much money. There we go. And Istria, we've got the boys in there now. Anyone else that we want to be able to recruit from over here? Hmm. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. And what we'll try and start doing is recruiting more sort of garrison troops in Kabile because, of course, they are near to um, to these boys as well. Um, so, yeah, that's good. Let's end the turn again, guys. So the Thracians are offering us an alliance, which is very strange. Um, but <laughs> I'm going to oh, accept thanks. that because I just don't want them stabbing us in Welcome the back. Free. Do we have... We could offer them compensation. 310 gold. Will you be happy with that? Settle oh, our press grievances. It didn't even improve our relationship. There's no point in that. Oh, God. And there we go. There goes Tylus. Um, again, I'm probably going to play this, guys, just because we might be able to... De uh, we won't be able to destroy the ram, actually. Uh, let's just auto-resolve then. Oh, well. Fortunately, though, we can reach all the way up to Thomas. So we are... Okay. Um... Okay, the rebels try to uh, try to ambush us. Well, let's finish on this battle then, guys. Uh, luckily, the uh, attempt failed, but I don't think this is going to be difficult. Silly rebels. And we are on the defensive, guys, so we have the prerogative to defend. So, uh, yeah, let's see what they do. Well, here they come. Should be nice and easy for us. We're going to get all of our javelins off. We are taking some hits, I think, from the Akontistai. But their Thurio 4 is just literally charging forward, which is amazing for us. So, remember, these are rebels, guys, so we don't actually need to chase them down. We can just uh, break them, and then we'll be good. Let's try and break that Zista 4 and hopefully we don't lose many men. That's the main thing, is just losing as few men as possible. That Thurio 4 is already broken. Oh, they're, they're all breaking. They're all breaking now. Let's see if we can catch the Zista 4 then. There we go, men. Everyone come forward. See if you can fire Javis at him, actually. And, uh, yeah, we'll charge into him. Uh, yeah, and he, he's got a terrible charge. He's just broken. He's broken straight away. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Poor, poor rebels. Poor rebels. Poor rebels. Well, there we go. That was <laughs> not so difficult. <laughs> 12 men. We actually lost more than 12 because of friendly fire, but... Yeah, <laughs> silly rebels, silly rebels. Well, that was rather easy, wasn't it? Unfortunately, this is not a drawout battle. That would be amazing if it was. <sighs> God damn it. Oh, the rebels. Let's go away. And now we can't even take that. Can we, oh, we can't even siege it down this turn. Maybe they'll attack us, though. Um, that would be amazing. Um, but yeah, the following factions, Illyrian Kingdom and Epirus. I mean, they're at the war from the start of the game. Adrissa got more troops. Nicely with experience and a bit of a bonus now. I just can't wait for this to be growing. But we do have the money now to build the gold mining complex. So let's spend all of our money on that. And we took the fort. So good. Good, 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 good. We can actually come all the way up this way. There's one of their uh, armies trying to ambush as well. Silly, silly matey. I did, like, why attack me? <laughs> I 
It's just silly. But overall, it's good. So guys, like I said at the start, like I promised, we are going to have a look at our stats, at how we're doing. So if you have enjoyed this video and you don't want to see that, please do like and subscribe, guys. It does really help the channel out. Um, and I hope you haven't been enjoying this series and the intros and all that sort of thing. Let me know down in the comments below whether you've been enjoying it. I have certainly been enjoying it. Adrissians is like one of my favorite factions to play. Um... So, yeah, I love them. I love the Thracian rosters as well. And look at our empire now. Let's just let's just soak in and bask in the glory of the Adrissian Empire now. We go all the way from Byzantium to Basike over here, all the way to the north to uh, Trogatire, Trogoditire, <laughs> um, and Orgamia. We're going to mop up the uh, Tylus, so then we'll be fat. I do still need to take out these rebel factions, I think, honestly, once we have taken out the Maidi and the Dentalate, we'll probably send that army back to take out Coila Detea and this one, just to, you know, fill in the gaps. No one likes Bordegor, do they, guys? No one likes um, Bordegor. But first of all, let's have a look. We have 31 regions now, which is awesome. We are 8th in the rankings. We're 24th militarily. Obviously, the AI can recruit a lot more troops than us because of their money. Fifth in production, which is good. Seventh in the world territorially, which is actually insane when you consider it. ahead of us we've got what? Seleucids, Antigonids, Ptolemies, Rome, Carthage. So we're like uh, what would be what what is the other one then? I guess we'll have to have a look at that. Um financial eleventh, which surprises me, and population eighth. We actually have a lot of population then, too. So let's go for top five or do we go all factions like because no we can't really see ourselves so let's go top five factions and i'll just add in a couple more so i've added in a few factions the antigonids are not actually in the top five currently the top five is rome carthage india ptolemies and seleucids i've also added in olbia uh no sorry tylus histria and pontic pentapolis so we can see we are the blue line there of course and look at the antigonids they are actually declining since around turn I don't know, turn six, seven, something like that in terms of overall ranking. Everyone else is kind of going up, especially the Seleucids doing very well. Tylus has been very flat and Histria has uh, taken a nosedive after we've destroyed them. Let's have a look militarily, though. We are not too far ahead of Tylus, honestly, in terms of military. Um, so that's obviously something to be wary of. The Seleucids and Ptolemy, the Ptolemies have really ramped up. Look at that production of troops. Um, India's got above Rome now as well. Um, the Antigonids have pretty much stayed relatively flat, I would say. Um, and yeah, Pontic Pentapolis, obviously, that is when we went to war with them. Let's have a look at production. Oh my god, the Seleucids going crazy over here. So they must have built a lot recently territorially the Seleucids have probably gone up overall but lost a last couple of turns same with the Ptolemies going down India has just been flat they've not like got anything Carthage as well Rome slightly upwards we actually we have more territory than the Antigonids now really that is insane <laughs> The Antigonids have just been going down, so I guess the Antigonids are not very strong. Well, that is amazing for us. That means Greece is going to be weak, and we can just take all of the riches. Financially-wise, the Antigonids are still better than us, but yeah, we, we just can't compete with the big boys up there as well. Population-wise, we are nearly at Antigonids, so that's, another, that's an unfortunate thing because... I would have liked the Antigonids to be maybe stronger and have more population. But yeah, that is pretty amazing. Let's just have a look at our finances then, guys. So we make 43000 a turn. Last turn, we actually spent more than we we made, obviously because of construction, putting the 12000 in there. Our army upkeep is 28000 and our wages are 3000 um, And that's about it. No recruitment at the moment. Farming is 16000 thousand gold for us mining 2600 so not so much and trade 8000 so yeah and taxes 14000 so we're still making the most from farming currently that is mainly because of course we are still early ish game like what turn are we on we're on about turn 50 just below turn 50 so we're still having very small settlements that uh 
of course, are not, like, strong enough. Um, we will actually probably put you down to high. And I think we'll put... We did put Philippopolis down, did we? Ah, forgot about these guys as well. Let's, uh, let's move them along. Ah, and the, and the fort. And the fort. I don't think we need the fort if we take the maybe out, so that's okay. Uh, but yeah, we're still, you know, very, very much large towns. We have no cities whatsoever. Like, zero cities. We are getting closer, though. Like, some of these places, like Perinthos over here. Main thing is getting a Drissa upgraded, which isn't too far away. So I think that's why we'll try and chill out on the recruitment of uh, units from a Drissa for now. Just to try and grow it a little bit quicker. Because the growth 2% is not so high. But yeah, we're still early game where farming really matters. But with all of these ports down here, we should start to get some good trade income. Especially when we take some of these regions with trade goods. Grain, hide, salt. No high value apart from copper over there. Tylus has... Oh, yep. Tylus has bad things. <laughs> uh, but we do have silver, uh, grain and fish in Byzantium. So yeah, as we get more and more trade goods... In our trade network, we will start making more money. But overall, guys, a great result today. We've pretty much taken out the history, the Histrians, apart from this over here. Um, and yeah, we're now at war with Tylus. Fantastic. Well then, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe. It does really help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video. Once again, massive thank you to the channel members of Cowie, David, and Pascal. Thank you very much for being channel members. If you are interested in supporting the channel, guys, there is a link down in the description below. But anyway, guys, over and out.